The law of focus. I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. Your vision is a snapshot of the future, but to get there, you need to stay focused. That's why you need to know the law of focus. What you focus on, what you pay attention to, expands as you move closer to your vision. Jesus said that whosoever deposits what is most important to them, that is where their heart will be. And of course, your heart is the field in which you will advance. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is Luke 12 and 34. Seneca, one of the greatest thinkers of the Roman Empire, reported Lee observed if one does not know which port one is sailing, no wind is favorable. It is up to you to focus on your goal, preferably in the field in which out of vocation or preparation you have a good chance of making a name for yourself. We all have abilities and characteristics that help us to become more successful in some situations than others. Instead of thinking about the gap that currently separates you from your goals, focus on a shift in performance. If you follow the biblical laws of success that you are learning in this book, you will be closer to achieving what you desire. Remember that time goes by regardless. Make sure you develop along with it. In a world that doesn't stop, where change is the only constant, if you stand still, you will be left behind. So you have to keep moving. One of the ways to develop your focus is to establish daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly plans. Set them in your mind and then write them down on paper or on your computer or tablet or phone. Write out where you want to be in the next year, in five years, or in 10 years, or even 20 years. Studies show that written goals are easier to achieve than those we keep only in our minds. One suggestion is to make a daily list even for minor things. When you complete a task, place a check mark beside it or draw a line through it. This gives you the feeling of mission accomplished. When things are on your list, when things on your list don't get done or when you are unable to complete a task, review and revise your plans. Decide whether a particular task is achievable. Checklists are great for everything from groceries to school supplies to what to pack in your suitcase before a trip. Don't get disheartened if you can't do everything on your list. Keep this list because one, five, or ten years you will see that these things in which you focus on were achieved, whereas others to which you put less effort but that may have been equally important were not. <laughs> if the size of the task frightens you, if, the, if you slack off, if you don't follow through, believe me, in five yeah, or ten years, you will be the same or worse off than today. The things that depend on you must be done in the best way possible so that to ensure that the continuity of your success So get moving. In his lectures, Rubens usually gives the following advice. Focus on a target within a given period. Five years is a good cycle. If in five years you follow the principles of success, this time frame will enable you to measure just how far you've come. If you waste time on useless things, you will certainly pay the price. Establish your personal goals in a time frame in which, accomplish, in which to accomplish them. This is where your success will start. Focus versus sacrifice. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. And that's Matthew thirteen forty-five through 46. To focus means to sacrifice. 
The tale of the merchant tells of a man who found something so perfect that he sacrificed what he had in order to realize his dream. This section considers the relationship between focus and sacrifice. No one can focus on anything if at the same time they don't have the courage to sacrifice something else. Jesus said unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. And that's John 12 and 24. This tells us that every job, every achievement requires for us some kind of sacrifice. Just as important as knowing what you want and focusing on your vision is knowing what you have to sacrifice and then making that sacrifice. Success always demands some sacrifice, so does failure. Notice how both success and failure come at a price. The price of success usually comes first and the person enjoys life afterwards. Failure usually happens to those who don't make an effort at the offset. They pay the price later. The Bible says that there is food that tastes sweet to begin with, but bitter later. So I went to the angel and I asked him to give me a little scroll. He said to me, take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey. That's Revelations 10 and 9. Professional life is very similar. Not making the proper sacrifices now may appear sweet, but the aftertaste is a bitter one. Focus versus positive thinking. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. That's Colossians 3 and 2. Our brains are programmed by our thoughts. The more you think about good and positive things, the more good and positive things will happen. Surely our thoughts alone don't change reality. Some action is due as well as does of sacrifice and persistence. But everything starts in your mind. There are studies pointing out that people who think positively tend to get better results. When the Bible tells us to strive for things above, it is also telling us to look for loftier goals, to strive for better ideas and thoughts. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things that is philippians 4 and 8 thank you so much for going through this chapter with me this is the law of focus